Hey guys, Zodiacs here, and welcome to a new series, uh, which is the Airport Simulator game by Plarion. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go over, first of all, my airport, and then I'm going to try and answer a lot of frequently asked questions that I've seen on the Facebook pages and the Discord groups. Uh, hopefully this video will be able to answer a lot of those questions for you. And obviously, if you have anything that I don't cover in this, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, let's get into it then. So, as you can see, this is my apron. I have all the fluxes on the runway and the flux and the uh, airport legs as well. Um, fuel tanks and the fuel station is in the middle. I have three medium haul ramps and four short hauls. I believe you can squeeze in four medium hauls and three short hauls. Um, that's one of the uh, other options you can get. Uh, in the top corner then I have two catering centers because w when you get to uh, every flight needing uh, food, one catering facility just is not enough to cover it. So I have two catering facilities, uh, one a vehicle depot that has four catering trucks, uh, two assigned to each catering facility. Uh, another one here that has two tugs and three stair carts. And then across this side we have my air traffic control tower, my contract office, another car park with my inspection vehicles and the inspection hub. Uh, inside the terminal then I've got loads of Obviously it's still a Halloween event at the moment. Um, I haven't got too many decorations around because I just found them cluttering my airport quite a lot. Um, so I've got you know automatic um, check-in desks, uh, some singles and doubles, full security suite, and then I've got the large duty-free in the middle with some small ones, uh, smaller shops either side of it. Just click on these while I'm here. So yeah, uh, so. Just going to clear these track records. So that's one of the frequently asked questions right there. How to get more of the coins, so the blue coins that you use to unlock your airlines, as you can see here. Uh, you get some by completing the um, daily missions. Um, and you also get some by getting a perfect contracts so if we do that as you can see on the right hand side it shows you the relationships um, but it also gives you a rating for that contract uh, if you manage to get a perfect on your contract you will earn those blue coins uh, that is the easiest way to get them uh, because you're in control of whether you get those scores um, I find a lot of mine become excellent mainly because even with my runway fully upgraded um, for wear, I don't know why it's weird. Like it just delays the start of the wear. It doesn't actually stop it wearing as fast. Um, so that can be a bit annoying. I can like go. It can be on a hundred percent for hours and then suddenly drops at eighty pretty quickly. Um, but that is another frequently asked question though: is how to repair your runway. So in the bottom right, hit the airport tab. And as you can see here, you have all of your um, st structures basically on the ground. Uh, you hit repair all. Obviously, I've recently done mine, so I don't have the option. You can repair individually, but I highly recommend just to hit the repair all button. It's a lot easier. Uh, if we go back into the contract section for a second, uh, look at my track record. Uh, people always wonder, so if they get um, gradings that aren't A, and lower gradings they often ask you know how do I find out um, you know, what's caused it so the apron conditions we've just gone through you need to repair your facilities outside services that is your fuel inspection and catering vehicles if you're getting low grades on that you need to just check your aircraft see make sure they're getting enough of what they're needing um, if that's not the case you need to upgrade your vehicles or your facilities and I'll go over that in a minute Timeliness, uh, this is a common one that I've seen. Um, a lot of people are scheduling all of their flights for exactly the same time on every single ramp. Uh, obviously, your airport cannot cope with having 
four, five aircraft landing at exactly the same time or leaving at exactly the same time. To start the game, you only get one pushback tug, and one tug can't push back five aircraft at the same time. That's a common cause for delay, um, and I'll go over how to get around that as much as possible. Another cause of that is your general aviation. If you have too many general aviation ramps or they're awkwardly positioned, they can often cause delays to it. Um, the other one is objectives. If I just click into one of these, so just click on the one that you want to have a look at, and in the top right next to general you have a little arrow. If you tap that arrow, it brings you to your objectives page and it tells you exactly what your objectives that you signed on to when you signed to the contract. Um, for each of these it's just basically a happiness rating um, and you need to have a certain number of passengers that are you know, happy or whatever level of happiness the, you know, the contract requires you. Um, you know there's various different things so it could be shops it could be food it could be queuing time security time check-in time uh, overall happiness um, and it could be to do with your you know, food or drink stuff like that um, as I was saying with timeliness then if we go into planning and I'll show you mine as you can see I have uh, yes yeah, so I have four short haul ramps and three medium haul my first three I've offset by an hour from each other uh, and then terminal four is uh, half past the second hour and I've also offset my uh, medium hauls. Uh, so the medium hauls take four hours each so I have one that lands at the same time as so terminal five and one will, at the beginning of the day have you know, a landing at the same time but two aircraft at the same time isn't too bad. Um, with seven ramps, I get and with that scheduling style, um, I can get away with only having the three pushback tugs in total for all seven ramps. Um, and I think that the maximum delay I've I've seen on my account so far is about five minutes. And I think that was mainly because of these general aviation aircraft. Um, I tend to try and only um, release one at a time if I were to release all five there it kind of just causes a bit of a, a backlog um, for it. Um, a lot of people also have trouble figuring out how to sign medium haul contracts. If you look at the contract section um, there's you've got your airline services that it requires. Uh, some of these require you to have an air traffic control tower um, obviously you have to have got your reputation with worldwide up to level 4 before you can actually unlock the air traffic control tower so some of the medium haul um, flights will be blocked off to you until you've got uh, worldwide up to level 4 um, you also need to have a manual passport checkpoint if we go into the terminal uh, that one no I want to go into that one sorry so you need at least one of these double security checkpoints. At the moment there is a bug in the game where the passengers only use one side of it, um, which is a bit annoying. Uh, you also need to make sure you have a double boarding gate, which is that there, and you also need to have your runway. So if you click on your runway, hit upgrade, and if you haven't had it upgrade, you will see that it will only allow short haul type aircraft. You will need to upgrade that. I'm believe it cost five million I don't quote me on that but I think it was five million to upgrade um, so you need to upgrade that in order for it to accept the medium haul and as I say some medium haul contracts do require air traffic control to be built but not all so at the start if you're only just unlocking medium haul um, you'll be restricted on which medium haul contracts you can actually accept from the beginning um, I think that's covered it for how to get onto the medium halls. Um, for the fuel, so I've seen some people struggling to order new fuel, wondering why they aren't filling up. So if you click on one of your fuel tanks, bottom right you have new order, and you just hit the add button. So I have a fuel capacity of 250,000. I'm going to top that off now. So we'll go 115, and then you order confirm and then you wait your half an hour uh, for that to be delivered. 
if those of you who are struggling to get enough fuel to the aircraft, tap on your fuel tank and you can upgrade your fuel station. This upgrade increases the speed that your tankers fill up, so um, how quick it goes from your storage containers into your tanker. To actually upgrade the trucks itself, you click on the fuel services, and at the moment, uh, say my fuel trucks are at the maximum, but in the bottom right where it says max limit at the moment, you will have an upgrade option. Um, when you get to the medium haul aircraft, you will need to have this on max, otherwise you won't be able to fill them up in time um, and also if you have seven ramps and uh, in my case I have seven ramps and four um, refueling tankers that just about does enough um, you know quantity for me um, but because I have this the spread out schedule uh, not every aircraft is wanting to refuel at exactly the same time if you had seven aircraft trying to refuel at the same time you would need seven tankers um, likewise with the catering facility it's exactly the same same you go to the service services side and where it says max limit there will be an upgrade option um, when you do get medium haul you need to upgrade your inspection vehicles as well I believe you need to have your inspection vehicles at, at least level 6 in order for it to complete a medium haul aircraft in time um, obviously the higher it is above level 6 the quicker it gets done and the quicker it can move on to a different aircraft if it needs to um, for the actual administrative building then, uh, airline contracts capacity. Now there's some debate as to actually what this is. Now I've upgraded this and tried to look for the differences and I can't quite see it, but we think it's to do with the amount of contracts that one airline can offer you at a time. Um, the new contract refresh time is kind of self-explanatory and the contract signing limit is also kind of self-explanatory. If we go to contracts, you can see in the bottom right it tells you how many contracts you've got signed and the second number there is your limit. Um, if you go to airline profiles you can diselect certain airlines which means those airlines will no longer offer you contracts. Uh, this can be handy if you've already reached the highest level with a certain airline and you know, a, a thousand relationship you might not want to like so Gluck Airlines and Fast Travel don't require that many services so you're not going to get as much revenue from them either so in my case I've turned them off I've also turned off Halloween's at the moment because I'm kind of fed up with that um, event for the time being so I'm not bothering with it anymore but I've got four airlines there so when I go to my contract page only those four airlines will show up as available contracts to me uh... I think that pretty much covers everything that has been asked um, that I know of. So, yeah, if you have any um, questions, um, please feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them if I can. Uh, if I can't, I'll try and find an answer for you. Um, yeah, hopefully that's been helpful for everyone and don't forget to hit that like button again. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you again soon. Take care.